It's another day. Is it? It is. It feels like the same day. It is, because I have no idea what time we got home. I genuinely don't remember what happened last night, which is why there was no footage from... Season 3 has made me delusional. Honestly, oh, season 3 is like us just rambling on and on, but... I'm so excited for this event today. It's actually the first time in a long time we've done a daytime event. So it's gonna be pretty fun. It's the opening of White Beach, if I'm not mistaken, and all the girls are coming. We're serving cutesy, like, you know, looks. Just simple, humble, just honestly, the boys next I've door. Out. Literally, honestly, truthfully. Scary, spooky, spicy. I own everything, baby. So you're talking about lip fillers now? Yeah, so I was watching this influencer story and like they posted 20 stories about how like it's plump now and they took the show the like procedure and they showed me all of it. Like, yeah. Injecting like the inside and I yeah. was like, what are they doing inside? Like, usually they fill it from the yeah. outside. But, yeah. No, but then one post she held her lips. She's like, yes. this shape, everything. Everything. But I just I felt like her upper lip called me cheap. Like, I, I immediately called my dermo and I was like, yes, film me This now. is what I want. What have I been paying you for? Yes. Like, honestly. No, I pulled a picture of this influencer. I was like, this me. Film. Film me now. Film me now. Funnily enough, I think that's what you said to some of the people at the party last night. Mm -hmm. Light is so good, but I have no idea where we're going. We're both so confused. Me yeah. lost. Also, my pants keep blowing open, and I, thank God I wore like super. Oh, it's the other way. Oh, it's cute. Big move. Honestly, I need to change my passport picture.
I thought the white beach event was handled amazingly. I thought the staff were incredible. Really I thought the food was yeah. incredible. And I just, I felt like everyone's attitude was great. Even when they moved us, um, like, yeah, was like, but, like they were just so nice. Like, I, I just don't even, you know, beautifully handled the event. Yeah. Uh, great job to the PR team and everybody else involved. Shout and out to White Beach Dubai. Exactly. Incredible. Honestly, yeah. service. genuinely we haven't done anything and I feel like when you're at that age if you're going to listen to other people's opinion off other people you need to reevaluate your life because yeah. you shouldn't be listening to idle gossip especially and when you should I'm, never let someone else influence your opinion of someone yeah like it, even though like you're my best friend but if you tell me, oh, don't talk to this bitch or don't do that, like, I need Which to... Which I've never done. You've never done, you know? but if you, if you did, like, I'd still be like, but wait, hold up, like, let me talk to this person yeah, and figure, and figure out, out yeah. why, what the deal is. Yeah. Because you never know until you talk to people. Like, I, I'm a firm believer in human commu communication and talking to someone, like, one-on-one. Because -on -one. Yeah. that's how you get further in life. But if you listen to what other people say, then you're just... And you're a sheep. You're following in the crowd, you know? And no one wants to feel less than. Do you know what I mean? Yeah, I mean, again, like I said, like, I will talk to him when I see him at the party, the new party that's happening. But other than that, I just think, you know, if he's formed an opinion of us in his head, okay, I'll let him have it. I will never I don't, someone. I don't judge someone for prejudging me. But for me, it's like, I always want to understand people. Yeah. So I hate when people don't take the time to understand me. Do you know yeah. what I mean? Because I always give people the benefit of the doubt. So if you don't give me the benefit of the doubt, it's like, you know, I gave you the chance. So why don't? Why isn't it back and forth? Do you know what I mean? I don't know. Anyway, like I said, we've been good people. Um, always, 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 always. And uh, if he doesn't see it. Position. Okay guys, so my second, actually my first meeting of the day resulted in something that I didn't actually foresee. So I just got done with all of it now, but I'm super excited because I'm collaborating with a company whose um, purpose and beliefs I share. And um, I'm super excited to work on it, but I have so many meetings today. I just got done now at DIFC, and I have another meeting with Louboutin at 3.30, which I'm super excited about. But um, it's going to be a lot tomorrow, but I am fully capable and ready to take all of it on. I think with anything, if you go in it with a good plan and with a certain level of organization, you are not ever going to fail. I do think sometimes things really don't go according to plan, but it's that's fine that's a part of life but you have to have a general guideline anyway as i said on the way tomorrow um and a lot of exciting things tomorrow i'm not sure if i'll be able to shoot it but i'm still excited about it hey guys so i just got done with the shoot and it all went really well although we still have to see what the final video looks like i feel like we got a lot of great angles i'm working with such an exciting company 
and tomorrow the photographer sorry the videographer is gonna go back and kind of get a few extra angles that we couldn't get today because the restaurant started getting super busy but overall i'm super happy with the outcome and i think everything's going well i can't wait to share more information with you guys when i can but it's an exciting concept the place that Majid has now brought me to introduced me to a really good new coffee brand it's something replacing my favorite coffee brand x shot but this is also this is called exo there's a thing for x's yeah honestly we love a good x um and this is really really good what flavor is this i forgot is this, this is some soy based shit we're all about the soy lot <laughs> lifestyle now honestly gwyneth paltrow could never about something serious that happened to me. It's very serious. It's so serious. So we're talking about my vlog and my YouTube channel and I'm telling him how this one girl messaged me on my private DMs and I didn't even see it. because She snuck in. She snuck in and it oh. went into like, you know how you have two inboxes on Instagram and like people you don't know, it goes into like another inbox. So it says primary okay. and it says recent. So if you allow the person in recent, it comes into your like, your inbox with your friends. Yeah. Okay. So. This girl messaged me and she was like, hey, I didn't know that night was being recorded. Um, I didn't know this was going to be online. And I was like, who is this? And <laughs> I clicked on it, but the account was private. Didn't even recognize the person. Kind of recognized the name, but I was like, mm. Says who are you? confused. And then the next day I checked it again and she's like, can you please take this off? It was meant to go online. And then I spoke to Mo and Mo was like, oh, I know the girl. But she was like, she's barely in the video, so why is she having a problem now? And that's when we realized. These girls have watched the 50 minute video. Oh. And then they've gone back on the channel to see who the <laughs> Oh, okay. Who the is, I'm gonna block it out. But, um, and that's when they found, cause that night, that was when we were in this person's house. That's and he doesn't want us filming shit. in his house, yeah. So what I did is I went back, cause I'm a nice person. I didn't go to argue because on YouTube it's very specific. Like you have to like really show someone's face in order for them to have a privacy concern when this guy was yeah. barely, you know, in you can't, if you're in the background, like if I'm over there behind that guy and you say it's a privacy claim, it doesn't work like that. So then I went on and I blurred the screen and the events in this person's house and I left the rest of the video because I'm a nice person. Honestly, all about humility. He's buying strap-ons. No, he's buying, <laughs> he's buying <laughs> straps. Mm. And I'm, straps I'm assisting because, here. you know, I'm like the most masked person here. Like, magic could <laughs> never compare, <laughs> ever. But yeah, we're looking at sporting equipment. And strap-ons. Mm. Yeah, you know, it's important. It's a vital part of life. Yeah, so, what, what else are you looking for? <laughs> My will to guys so i just woke up well about an hour ago well half an hour ago oh i was just having my tea and i i'm starting to feel a little bit just just overwhelmed and anxious because um you guys know that i had big plans that are still ongoing um to kind of change the current situation that i'm in in terms of just you know, me, me, me being here, me being in this country. And that's what I've been working on for a very long time. But now I've just kind of decided that I've never been the type of person who likes depending on other people, um, especially when it comes to money. And of course, when it comes to family, you are, you know, you, you don't have this, perhaps the same sense of, um, you, you you don't perhaps react with family the same way you do with other people but to me for the most part it has been that way and I um while I'm very thankful for everything and and you know the blessings that I have and um everything that I have from because of my family I I genuinely don't feel comfortable moving to another country and depending on other people for my lifestyle or, you know, my plan is to, to, to go to, um, university and 
at this point, I just don't know if that's something um, that's gonna happen. And um, it makes me feel a little bit overwhelmed because, you know, I'm also interviewing with a company to start working. And if that goes well, then that's something I'm gonna stick to. And, um, you know, so there's a lot and I'm very thankful for a lot of it. I am thankful that these opportunities are coming my way. I'm thankful that people are contacting me and I couldn't be more thankful for all the blessings that I have in my life. But sometimes it helps for me to just talk about how I'm feeling because it helps me lessen the pressure of having to feel like I have to do so many things, you know. And today I, I'm heading out to assist. Oh, well, I'm invited to a special dinner, sit-down dinner, where I will also be working with the same videographer that I was working with a few days ago. I'm not sure if I can post that vlog content on here, but I will be working with him um, for an exciting company. Um, and yeah, I'm just, I'm excited about that. I can't reveal too much, so I don't want to talk about um, that particular project too much. But again, it's a great opportunity. I'm excited to do it, but I'm hoping it leads to something long-term. So let's see. I am not, I repeat, I am not a dumb cow. So I'm at the mall. I just brought up all these like emotions. Like I, I remember like this letter that I wrote him. You wrote a letter.